Word was God and the Word was with God. Welcome to God's Word right here on Eagle M Ministries, international.churchonline.org and also our Facebook channel and also our uh, international Church there on Facebook. That's right, our Eagle M International Church on Facebook. We praise God you guys have taken our time to log on to the broadcast on today. I want to say praise the Lord to all our affiliate churches there in Uganda and in Kenya. We praise God for you guys. We got a special broadcast on today. We had an ordination service of our dear sister, uh, Evangelist Malegros Acosta Abram there in Lebanon. I tell you, it was a blessed, blessed service. We're just so proud of what God is doing in her life. We're going to get right into this service, but before we get to the service, I want to bless you with this particular song that kind of set the mood uh, for the ordination service. And it's by Brother Josh uh, Ruff, and the song is called Draw Me Nearer. Enjoy what God has for you. Thy love to me, but I know to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw Dr. 
reading by Pastor First Lady India Owens Taylor and it's going to be Romans the first chapter 14th verse through the 17th and then the 10th chapter of Romans 14 through 15 okay Romans first chapter, verses 14 through 17 states, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. Such as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Yeah. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteous of God revealed from faith to faith, as is written. Romans, the 11th, uh, 10th chapter. Mm -hmm. Verses 14 and 15. How then shall they call on him to whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? That is as it is written. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Amen. 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 We thank God for the reading of his word. And we'll have a special 
special selection. And I know this this particular video is going to bless you guys because I've seen you respond to it before. This whole world around 
Amen. 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 Not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm, um, we have a word from the Lord, and we're going to get into this because it's a very important part of, of the service that we hear from God. That we hear from God. If nothing else. Amen. And, uh, I want you guys to, if you have the Bibles, I want you to go to um, Acts, the 8th chapter, 26 verse through the 29th. Okay? That's Acts, the 8th chapter, 26 verse through the 29th. You guys, let me know when you when you got it. Okay, you guys have the word. Okay, talk back to me now. You guys got it. Malagos, can you hear me? You get you got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. The eighth chapter X. Twenty six verse. Through the twenty ninth. Okay. All right. You guys can always go back over these scriptures later on when uh, we place this up. Okay. All right. The 8th chapter of Acts, 26th verse, reads as such, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza. Okay? Which is desert. We're talking the 8th chapter of Acts. Okay, that was the 26th verse. The 27th verse and he arose and went, and behold a man, an Ethiopian, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of Ethiopians, who had charge over all her treasure and had to come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Now the 29th verse says this, Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near, and join thyself to this chariot. Now let's drop down to the 34th verse. And we're going to read from the 34th verse down to the 39th. And, then, and, and the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee of whom speak of the prophet, this of himself or some other man. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. The 39th verse, and when, he, and when they were come up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. Amen? Amen. Let's go to Ephesians. And this, Amen. this is going to be our main text. Let's go to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, and the eleventh verse. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, and the eleventh through the thirteenth. Okay, you guys have it? Ephesians, the fourth chapter. The 11th through the 13th. And it reads as such. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets. And some evangelists. And some pastors. And some teachers. For what? For the perfecting of the saints. 
for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. 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 Let's, let me pray real quick and we're going to get right into this message. Father God, we ask you, Lord God, to send your anointing on your man servant, Lord God, as we may go through your word and teach your word on today. God, we thank you for the opportunity, Lord God, to set one of your handmaidens to be consecrated, Lord God, to do your work. Father, we thank you and we praise you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The title to this message on today is God's Special Forces. God's Special Forces. The Lord exercised a special care for His church when He instituted the position or function of the evangelist. The word evangelist, according to the Eastern Bible Dictionary, means this. A publisher of glad tidings, a missionary preacher of the gospel, as in Ephesians 4 and 11. This title definitely applied to Brother Philip in Acts 21 and 8, where he appears to have gone from city to city preaching the word of God to the lost. The evangelists were entering preachers who had a special responsibility to carry the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who had not heard the gospel. They did not and do not, listen now, have the authority of the apostle, nor the gift of prophecy, nor the responsibility of the pastor to watch over the sheep of God. The evangelist's sole purpose, Malegos, is to win souls to Christ. All believers have the responsibility to evangelize the world, but the purpose of the evangelist is to identify the lost, then bring them back to the kingdom of God. They're what I call, again, God's special forces of evangelism. People of God, let me give you some examples of what I'm saying. In the true sense of the word, God himself is an evangelist because he preached be, preach the gospel beforehand to Abraham in Galatians 3 and 8. The Lord Jesus Christ was an evangelist because he preached the gospel in Luke 20 and 1. Brother Paul had two functions. Brother Paul was an evangelist and an apostle. Brother Philip was a deacon and an evangelist. You'll see that in Acts 21 and 8. And Brother Timothy was both pastor and evangelist where you can see he went everywhere teaching and preaching the gospel as did get this now as did the early disciples they went everywhere preaching the word of God but as I stated before there's a special breed listen to me Malagos there's a special breed of preachers who God who are part of God's rescue squad as stated in Ephesians 4 and 11 and daughter you are part of that squad. Now, I want to bring something close to you, Malagos, because today is about your consecration unto the work of the ministry. You were called, listen to me now, you were called by God before you were even formed in your mother's womb, like the prophet Jeremiah. God had already sanctified you and ordained you as a preacher to the nations. This is why your name is called Malegros, which means miracle in English. Now, a lot of people don't know the story behind your name, but you have shared that with me, and I'll share it with the rest of you all who may not know. The reason why Malegros was named Miracle or Malegros was because when she was born, she was born without breath. She didn't have her breath. And I believe I believe God breathed of himself into you so you could come forth for such a time as this. Daughter, you were doing, listen to me now, you were doing what we're doing today publicly has 
what you've been doing has already been established in heaven. What we're doing today, we're just affirming this in the earth, that which God has already done in heaven. My language, like I said, you've been doing the work of the evangelist for a long time without even realizing it because it's in your spiritual DNA. Amen? Therefore, mm -hmm. I encourage you, daughter, I encourage you to just keep on doing what you do and don't let anybody, don't let anybody change you from who you are in God. Now, I have to give you a fair warning as being your pastor and as being your spiritual father. Know this that because of the anointing that's on your life to reach the laws, the devil will try to stop you any way that he can. But remind yourself that no weapon formed against you or your family will prosper. Because when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Daughter, beware. Listen to your father in the gospel. Beware of some so-called friends and family members. Because some don't mean you good. Some will hate you and be jealous of you because you're trying to live a holy and righteous life. But don't be dismayed. Don't be dismayed by this because God never takes away without adding to your life those who will bless you and your family. So, daughter, I say again, stay faithful to God, and he will hide you under the shadow of his wings. Now, your charge, and this is to everybody that's listening to the sound of my voice. People of God, you've heard me say this many, many times before. Wherever you are, that's where your pulpit is. Malagos, wherever God sends you, preach the word, daughter. Preach the word. Even when... They don't want to hear it. Preach it in love that God be glorified. The Bible, the Bible people of God tells us in Mark, tells us in Mark 16 and 15, to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. People of God, we are ambassadors for Christ. And in some cases, we're the only representation of God some folks will ever see. Therefore, we must represent our God and our King well in the earth. We must allow ourselves to be the vehicle by which people become reconciled back to God. And I'm just about through. So people of God, let us all renew our commitment on today. All of us, preachers, all of us, let us renew our commitment to God to work the work that God has assigned each of us to do in these last and these evil days, I'm going to say that again. In these last and these evil days, you work your work. You don't have time to waste time. People of God, these are the times that will try men's souls. These are the times when people will come to us seeking answers of what's going on in the earth. Therefore, we must be ready to give them an answer according to God's word. So people of God, we don't have time to waste. We don't have time to waste. We must be about our Father's business. And yes, we thank God, amen, for his special forces called evangelists. Amen? Amen. Amen. Such, such is the word of the Lord on today for all of us. For all of us. And uh, right now, we're going, to, we're going to get into the real good part of what I call the real, real, real good part. And we're going to do the charge. And we're going to let you go. We're going to let you do what God has ordained for you to do. Okay? And, now, Malegos, this is where you have to talk back to your pastor, okay? 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 Okay, talk to me now. Talk to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you, Malegos, accept the Bible as God's inspired, infallible, inherent, immutable, indestructible, and indispensable word? And what is your answer? I do. 
Amen. Amen. Malagris, do you understand the requirements, responsibilities, realities that are about to be placed upon you by being ordained and set apart as an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ? And your answer? I do, my pastor. The Lord being my helper. Are you ready? <laughs> and willing to accept and to assume the responsibility to pursue, preach, practice God's word with boldness, to minister to the needs of those to whom you are sent without partiality, and to give yourself sacrificially and without reserve to the educating, the edification, and the equipping of the body of Christ, and your answer, I be my pastor, the Lord be my pastor. Okay. Will you endure to be diligent in the study of God's word, instant and faithful in prayer, an example in Christian piety, discipling before your people and the community in order that your life may be worthy Christian example? And that upon your ministry, the blessings of God may rest. And your answer is? I do, my pastor. The Lord be my pastor. Okay. Now, recognizing the sacred responsibility of your call and aware of your own human weakness, will you seek leadership and empowerment of the Holy Spirit in order? that you may be faithful minister of whom who has called you and your answer i do my pastor the lord be my help okay okay all right now comes the good part and i'm gonna shorten it up i charge you malegros to pursue the word of god i as paul said unto timothy be diligent to present yourself approved to god a worker who does not need to be ashamed Rightly dividing the word of truth. I charge you, Malagos, to practice, listen to what I'm saying, the word of God. Let no man despise your youth, but be an example of the believers in the word, in conduct, and in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Flee also useful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, and those who are called on the Lord out of pure heart. I charge you, Malagos, to preach the word. You are called, as of today, you are called to be a preacher. You are a woman of God called to preach the word of God. I charge you, as Paul charged Timothy, I charge you, therefore, before God and Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and at his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come, and it is, when when they will not be here to sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, they will they will have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn away their ears from the truth, and be turned unto fables. But this is the good part. But you be faithful, you be watchful in all things and endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Amen. Fulfill your ministry, daughter. Fulfill your ministry. Amen. Fulfill your ministry. Amen. 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 I want you just to um, just give us some quick words real quick. And then um, I have Elder Mark Fenderson to um, going to give us a quick prayer, and we'll be out. Okay, just uh, just talk back to us. So 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 just tell us how you feel, real quickly. Malagros, Malagros. Hello. Yeah, talk talk to me. Talk, talk, talk to us real quick. Talk to us real quick. How do you feel about, be, about being charged now as being an evangelist? We don't have a whole lot of time, so I need you to talk quickly. 
Amen. The church been accepted, my pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Congratulations, daughter. And I want to show you something real quick. And to everyone else. This is my legal certificate of ordination. Right here. And I'm going to read it to you real quick. It says, This certifies that Evangelist Malegros Acosta Abram was officially ordained on December the 3rd, 2016 at Eagle M International Church. It's signed by me, Pastor Virgil Taylor, and it has the church's seal right there. Okay, we're going to send this to you when you get back from Kenya. Okay, and it says, But watch thou in all things endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry, 2 Timothy 4 and 5. And this is going to be your letter. And it also has a church seal on it and our church logo. And it says this. This is your official letter of ordination declaring declaration of good standing. Known all persons by these presents that Emek accepts evangelist Malegos Acosta Abram, having demonstrated by actions and by the statement of faith, and love for our Lord Jesus Christ and his work unto the worldwide ministry of Eagle M International Church. I, Pastor Virgil Taylor, on behalf of the church and all its members and the board, do hereby select, appoint, and anoint you, Evangelist Malegos Aposta Abram, a legally ordained independent minister of EMAC and authorized to perform all standard Christian religious services, including the rites of marriage, baptism, on this third day of December in the year of 2016. Now, what I need for everybody to do, Mark, everybody, yes, what I need everybody to do is to stretch their hands towards Malegos. Everybody, everybody. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we consecrate your handmaiden right now, God, to go forth in the name of Jesus, to preach your gospel, God. Lord, you send her wherever you need for her to go, Lord God. Let her preach with power and authority. Lord God, wherever she may go, Lord God, her feet are blessed according to your word, Lord God, because she is a carrier of your word. We thank you and we praise you, Lord God, how she's growing in you, Lord God, and we thank you for all that you're about to do in her life and in that region of the Middle East. We praise God for her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Elder Mark, take us out. With a benediction real quick, buddy. And we Thank gonna... you, Father. Thank you for all that's been said and done into your glory. Continue to bless this wonderful daughter of Zion and her family and all that are partaking in this the service on today. Let your glory be revealed, let your power be demonstrated, and let your love flow like a river. For you have said in your word that love is stronger yes. than death. We bless you, we love you, and we appreciate you. All that you've done, are doing, and will do in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Congratulations, evangelists. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations. You go forth. You go forth. We're proud of you. Pastor and I are very, very proud of you. We're very proud of you. Brother Freddie, we forgot you. We're praying for you over there too, man. <laughs> We're praying for you too, man. We pray. and, and, and we just thank God how God has healed you. How God has healed you, Brother Freddie. We praise God. We praise God. I tell you. So we're just excited. We're excited. Grace, I don't know if Grace is still on or not. Um, but um, we, we praise God that everybody who has taken out time to um, to stay up. And Sister Jocelyn, we see you. We thank God for you too, dear. <laughs> we thank God for you. But um, every, all, all, everybody be safe. And um, we're going to let you guys go to bed because we, we know it's late. <laughs> okay? We, yeah, it's, 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 um, let's see. It's 4 o'clock our time, but it's after 11 <laughs> where you guys are. No, actually, it's, yeah, it's about after 11. So we're going to let you guys go to bed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. We love you guys. Amen. We love you. Love you, Mel. We love you, daughter. All right? Thank you.
Oh, and I want to say, and I want to say thank you. I know she's listening. I want to say thank you, Madam Miriam. We praise God for you. We ask you to continue to be a blessing to my labels. And because you're being a blessing to her, God is going to bless you and your household in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Bring it to the camera because I've never seen it before. God bless you. God bless you, my daughter. Oh, yeah. I'm blessed of the Lord. Thank you, my Mila. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. We praise God for you. You are going to be blessed because you are being a blessing to God's servant. You and your household. We praise God for you. We praise God. For Thank you. you. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. That's what we show some love. Everybody show some love. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Y'all get some sleep now. What we look like on time. Those of you who want to get in touch with me, Minister Virgil Taylor, you can always email me at ChristCenterRecord at Comcast.net or you can call me 410-952-0759 or you can tweet me at Virgil Taylor. Uh, child of God, I pray. I pray you've been blessed by this special service on today. Keep evangelists, Malagos, in your prayers, people of God, that she may be able to do that which God has called her to do. And keep Eagle and Ministries in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to get right out of here. We're going to leave you guys with this particular video. And this is something that we all have to ask ourselves. Are we more available for God? to be used by God. This is a video by the Thompson Community Choir and the song is I'm Available. You guys be blessed and Lord continue to keep us in prayer, okay? God bless you now. Let me say you something, a young man, hallelujah, was sick one day that wrote this song. Had a heart condition had a stroke, a young man, at 20, old as Carlos, about 20, uh, 30, 20 years old. And he went to the hospital and he began to pray. And when Carlos came back out of that hospital room, I asked him, I said, Carlos, do you have a song? He says, I got one. He said, while I was laying there in that hospital, didn't know if I was going to come back again, I started writing, available to you, Lord. I want to be God's child. I want to be so available to him that everything I do, God gets a credit for it. When I raise my hand, I want to feel his presence. When I get on my knees, I want to feel his presence. When tears get in my eyes, I want to feel his presence. When I lift my hands, I want to be able to say, praise you. Jesus, you've been so good to me. You've been merciful to me. Thank you for waking me up this morning to behold another day. You've been my joy. You've been my comfort. You've been my mother. You've been my father. You've been my sister. You've been my mother. And all you got to do is lift your hands and say, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.